You can use this fact in combination of matchers to validate your tests. And in this episode, I'll talk about how to create new matchers using the expect extend. Okay, our test fails and it is expected to fail because Google is not scaffold hub. When we create a custom matcher, we must return the pass, which is a boolean variable if the test has passed, and the message, which is a fail message. So, in this custom matcher, we are receiving a string and we are comparing if it is scaffold hub. So, if it is, it will pass, otherwise it won't. And the fail message is a little bit tricky. So if the test passes and it still have to show a error message is because we don't want the test to pass. And in this case, we must specify that we expected the receive it not to be the scaffold hub. So for this test, we'll always be expected scaffold hub not to be scaffold hub. But if the test fails and we expect it to pass, it will return this expected the what it receives to be scaffold hub. So the first one is just showing this message. But if we use the not modifier, let's see what it shows. So expect scaffold hub not to be scaffold hub. And okay, so the correct message because we're passing the not. And in this case, the the expect Google to be scaffold hub and and okay, let's continue. If you're using TypeScript, you have to declare this type for this custom matcher. We can also create async matchers, and let me create a new one. I'll copy this.
So this test will sleep 100 milliseconds and then we'll behave just like the just like the, the other one. Okay, now because this is a promise, we must return it to the it, otherwise it won't wait for it to finish. Okay, it fails and it is expected to fail, but let's see how long it took to run. And okay, more than 100 milliseconds because it waited this slip to finish. In this section, is just explaining that you must pass the pass variable and the message, which is a function that returns the message. And we also have some helper functions inside the this of the custom manager. And this is not, it's just a flag to say if you are using the, the not modifier. So I'll just console log it. No run, only the first test. Okay, so for the first test is not is false and is not is true for the last test. The promise is a string that returns if you are using the rejects or the resolves modifier or if you're not using any one of those. So let me also console log this. And actually, we'll have to create new tests. So this expects a promise that resolves this value. So I'll promise resolve. And this one, a promise that rejects with this value. Okay, I will run only this scribe. Okay, and okay for for the first ones for the first ones we're not using the resolve, so it it's not showing anything. It it returns this empty string. But for this test, it shows the the promise resolves. And okay, I think I I have a typo here. Reject, not reject, sorry. Okay, so the last one, promise rejects. And this one, promise resolves. That's the value of the console log. We also have access to the equals to compare deep equality. So, create a new one. Now this matcher expects an object. Let me remove the console logs. It is equals, okay, equals. So expected this object and receive it. We don't know what is receive it. So our JSON, our string find this for us to be able to see the message.
Okay, so here I'm passing an object with a name to the scaffold hub to for the to be scaffold hub object, and let's see what happens. Let me use run only this last test describe. Sorry. Okay. Okay, and our test worked with the deep quality. If I type scaffold hub, you see here that it will pass. And this expand option, it only shows if you you pass the expand flag, and it is used by JS to determine if it JS expects to show the full divs and errors. I only console log this expand. Okay, expand is passing false, so if I pass the flag, it shows the expand as true, okay. For this example, I'll, I'll copy the one from the documentation. I also must install this just diff. Oh, actually, we don't have any tests inside this file. used in the banana example so I'll only run this index one test okay it fails and you can see that it used this print expected print received to show this in a green and red color in this format and also it uses this match your hint to show this expect received and also this comment that is declared here and also this match your hint it takes in consideration the is not and the promise so I'll repeat Actually, let me create a new one. Okay, and you can see that when I pass resolves on the message, it also displays the resolves. And when I use the not on the message, it also shows the not. We can also use custom snapshot matchers. So let me copy this example. I'll have to install the jazz snapshot.
and it creates a snap snapshot and you can see that it stores only the 10 first characters so extra long and that and that's because we're passing the 10 as argument and we are using this length to truncate the string 